What's up guys? It's Strategist. Now I know you're wanting an explanation because I've been gone for about a week and that is because I've been sick. And I actually ended up recording this footage while I was sick and my voice sounded like absolute dog shit. And if you already thought my voice sounded like dog shit, well then even more so. So I had to dub over this uh, later on. So unfortunately you won't get my live reaction. Not that I had much of one anyway, uh, because I, I wasn't feeling too great. Anyway, as you know, my boy Ike was on this banner. So I had to at least attempt to go for him. And uh, a little bit of close counter or distant counter fodder would have been nice too. I actually know exactly who I put close counter on as well. Um, I'm going to be summoning on the blue orbs as well because there is a ton of fodder that I need to get out of there. Uh, like Subaki, uh, Shanna, um, a couple other ones. I could use some uh, Robins as well for my merge project. So long story short, for the sake of efficiency and uh, cynicism, I was pulling on the blue orbs anyway because I, I probably wasn't going to get what I wanted in the first place. So I might as well get the most out of my orbs. Speaking of which, kind of feels like all I'm doing lately is summoning. <laughs> Weird, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, the irony is not lost on me. But on the plus side, for the most part, my summoning videos do get a good number of views. And I think it's because, for the most part, people uh, enjoy watching free-to-play summons a little bit more than some of the other ones. I'll use uh, Phoenix Master 1 as, a, as an example, probably most popular tuber. Everybody knows him, so you know what I'm talking about. So you see one of his summoning vids, and for the most part, you pretty much already know that he's gonna get pretty much every character out of the banner. It's, it's more of a question of when he's gonna get them, and then like what other characters he's gonna get along the way. Free-to-play summons definitely are way more lucrative for obvious reasons because you never really know if they're going to get the character they want or when, you know. Like this poll right here looks all sorts of promising, doesn't it? One red and a sea of blue. But because of that, I actually quit out of that one despite uh, my original statement about uh, summoning for efficiency. That one was a little bit too far gone, and I think you would have to agree with that as well. Since I kind of changed up my spending habits uh, significantly, I've definitely gotten a real nasty vibe from RNG. And that is basically summed up in two words, fuck you. <laughs> what RNG is telling me is fuck your strategy, fuck your tactics, you know, fuck your saving, fuck your spending, just fuck you right? Whatever it is you want, fuck you, be happy with what I give you, because it'll be anything. I feel like I'm generally getting the same sort of uh, reward from yellowing as I do from uh, saving. So if that's truly the case, I might as well not hold myself back and enjoy myself just a little bit and summon every once in a while if the results are going to be roughly the same anyway. And come to think of it, there is only really one time that really sticks out in my mind to where I really did get like everything that I wanted and was very satisfied with the outcome and that was the uh, CYL banner. I got two Brave Roys, I got Lynn, I got Lucina, and I free summoned my brave Ike. I probably should have saved my free summon till the very end, but uh, it ended up paying off anyway. I was pretty happy with that Hinata summon, by the way. Oh yeah, and out of blue, I also need some sword breaker fodder for my Robin. If I were to get close counter, um, I would definitely give it to Robin because he could get a lot of use out of it. I think his defense is up to 33 now. He doesn't have Swordbreaker 3, and I'd really like to get that to him. Um, also really excited about that Tsubaki right there. Kind of sad when you're getting excited for three-star uh, fodder summons, isn't it? <laughs> it's too bad I wasn't thinking when I got the Takumi recently. I Well, he was... 
optimal IVs. So if I would have foddered off my old one, I would have lost all the skills he otherwise had in the first place. And uh, merging them would allow me to keep all those skills and the optimal IV. So that's what I did. Uh, maybe that was the smartest thing to do. I'm still not quite sure. I still kind of wish I had that close counter fodder so I could really use my Robin as an enemy phase unit. A very overall uh, utility kind of character. He's really versatile, and I'm, I'm glad I actually like him as a character. Otherwise, I probably would have passed him over a long time ago. Fun fact, um, I actually upgraded a four-star Robin to five-star, and he actually ended up being, I believe, plus defense, minus attack. And he still got me a, a great amount of value using him. Oh, and there she is. Pity Breaker Kagero. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Feels real bad. I felt real fucking bad. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking Kagero. Kagero, fuck. Fucking fuck, man. I'm, I'm still slightly salty about that. This was what I was kind of touching on when I was just kind of talking near the beginning of the video, but I didn't want to give away exactly what I got. Um, the silver lining on this is Kagero is still relatively a strong-ish unit, but she absolutely requires investment, which I didn't really want to give her. She needs like a new dagger and stuff. Uh, this Kagero happens to be plus speed minus defense, and since it's not really worth foddering her off for anything, you know, dagger breaker or warding blow, you don't really need those. And uh, poison dagger, that, I mean, oh, low might, and people aren't really running infantry anymore. So I just kind of merged my old one uh, into this one to get some sort of value out of her. Definitely much better than the minus speed plus resistance one that I. So if you could do me a favor and leave your favorite Kagero build in the comments, or at the very least your favorite inheritable dagger, that will help me out immensely as I figure out um, what I want to do to kind of make use of what I'm given. And uh, before I end the video, on the left here we've got some fan art from Casey in the Discord. And on the right uh, is some fan art I got a long time ago. I wasn't able to track down the author from the uh, email that I had because the email was automatically deleted. So I'm sorry. Um, hit me up in the Discord if you are the author of the one on the right. Uh, very fantastic drawings. I, I will definitely love and cherish them forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Thank you for your time, thoughts, and effort that you put into these.